Ooh, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, this character. And well, today I got myself a match against Stardasher, and he's one of those, you know, good friends, and one of my first followers really is, you know, been helping me out and supporting me. And he won an audio game two weeks back here, and uh, I just never got around to narrate it. It was a very creative one because, well, I'm not too accustomed to you to be honest, uh, anymore. And he wanted an Ori game, and I really wanted to try out a few things. And of course, Meloetta is one of the top tier, really. And I actually had a anti lead for that, and uh, that is a bombastone with soundproof because that actually nerfed it somewhat, and it's it's very very fun to use. And other than that, they got the Slow King, Haunter, Electros, Tyrant, the Tyrantrum, and Durant. I myself is using uh, Golurk, Abomasnow, Avalog, Mantine, Dewblade, and Cabotops. And this was while Cabotops was in... Uh, I think it was in RU at this time. So yeah, it's it was a threat back there, and it's still a threat in RU, NU, of course. And I'm actually using the wrong uh, Golurk. It's not the Optimus Prime set, it is a Lurk set. Uh, nothing special about it, more than it's not as good. It has a different uh, different strategy, and uh, I wasn't aware of that going into this game. And uh, yeah, it really sucks it wasn't the original set. But yeah, other than that, this is a very face battle, so enjoy, guys. So the one I was fearing the most really was the Electros, because it can actually deal with a lot of my pokes really easily, because of that moveset that it gets. So I actually start off with that, and I start with Lurk, and just gonna go for a no guard dynamic punch. And not only do I pull a crit here, of course, uh, I do get the confusion, which is implied, but he actually hits himself. And that is really huge, that is two hacks in a row. So I'm just decided to go for Rock Slide here, because Rock Slide is very good to get flinch in combination with the confusion. He saw right through that and going to threaten me with um, the Meloetta. Uh, I did fear it might have you know, a psychic move, maybe, but as it stands, the Relic Song can't hit me and Close Combat can't either. So that shows me that it is at least physical, but. He do switch out to his Haunter, which is a big threat, and it goes back to Meloetta, and I actually was threatened by the Haunters, so I'll switch out my Bemisnow, and let's just say this, you don't see this every day, he goes for a Relic Song, mmm, soundproof, I don't get you, I didn't hear you, you wanna change form, I don't understand. <laughs> so yeah, I go for Frost Prep, it, of course it doesn't do anything at all really, but you know, it's, it's just a um, niche of it really, so U-Turn will do a huge chunk of my HP really, and uh, I'll actually stay and go for another Frost Breath, and he'll be free to go to the Durant. And I was kind of betting on Durant missing his Iron Head, because he got Hustle after all. So I'm going to my Lurk, because Lurk can, you know, get the Dynamic Punch off or an Earthquake. And really just, you know, take it out. So of course it hits the first Iron Head, and I barely lived that one. And uh, he gets for another one, and hits that too. So it really sucks for me that I wasn't able to do anything like that. So, I just go into my Flosh, which is the cabbage upset that I've been working on right now. And, um, just gonna go for Sword Stance. I was hoping for him to switch out. And he goes to his Slow King. And this is really gonna suck for him because I go for a knockoff here. And it will end up <laughs> Oko him. And the uh, damage range was actually 93 to 102 of uh, taking him out in damage. So, I was very lucky got a high damage roll, really. And uh, I do bring the Sash instead of Endure. So he go for Earthquake, and of course it brings me down to my Sash, and it activates my weak armor, which actually won't matter too much. But still, you know, it's a nice niche, to be honest. And uh, you can see that Cabotops works well, even without uh, Swift Swim. Weak armor really, you know, sets it off to, you know, come even faster, really. So I go for the Aqua Jet, and uh, the Haunter is not Sashed. I was actually betting on that, but sadly it wasn't. Probably, you know, Specs or Scoffed. So, Melwetha won't take another, take an Aqua Jet either, and uh, neither will his Durant, and the last one he's got left is the Electros. And since Electros got that, you know, big ass crit in the beginning, plus, you know, confusion hit, the Aqua Jet will, of course, finish it off really, really nicely here. So, yeah, that is basically ba BAME. GAME! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you Stardust for this game, and uh, really guys, don't let this battle fool you. Uh, Stardust is one of those good battlers that, you know, is very good at sweeping me. I was really lucky this time, that, to be honest. So yeah, other than that, you know, Cabotop, this Cabotop set is really, really strong. And it works really well if you aren't prepared for it, and uh, usually people aren't. 
because the typing of the cabin tops is it really sucks. So it only it only works because I get to had the sash intact because they activate the weak armor. After a weak armor boost, um, cabin tops is around I think 380 in uh, speed, which is enough to take on anything and outspeed pr other priority move setters. So yeah, I really like it because of that because it, you know it it gives another type of pressure against the team. Uh, other than that, you know, I want to you know thank Star Dash really for this game. Uh, like I said, don't let this game fool you. I was really lucky, and yeah, as a result, won this game. But really, Star Dash is one of those players that I have a huge trouble with because he's very very smart and competitive, and also very creative in his thought process. And as a result, it brings a lot of fun battles to me. So you know, I'm looking forward to battling him again sometime. And uh, yeah. This is basically what I'm gonna try to upload. Um, because of work, I'm not able to, you know, uh, do the little Leo League uh, battles because, well, I simply don't have the time for more battles. But I have time to do the narration. This, this is, you know, easy for me. It takes around half an hour to, do, you know, do all the stuffs. So yeah, you know, guys, thank you as always for watching. And don't forget to leave a like if you or if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Right. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. You know, have a good day. All right, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.